Hi guys, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen and today we are doing Evil Dead 3 Army of Darkness. Oh, what's that? Really cool Evil Dead candle! It's called at ScreenMonsters.com It's so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. Oh god, if I leave it there, is it gonna... Yes, ouch, that's painful. <laughs> Alright, well, in spirit. Right next to Hyper. Guys, I am stoked to watch this to see if I liked two or three better. So let's just dive right in. Let's just get right into it. Tamara's never seen. Tam Toba Fest. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I feel like. People who like number two better have a more refined palette, and people who like number three better are like, ooh, big thing's fun! I went halfway through this movie thinking that I liked it better. I wrote in my notes, I'm like, well, first of all, I'm already in love with this movie. It's big and cheesy and fun, and I really want to watch the TV show now. Help, where can I do that? I don't know. Google's a thing. And I wrote down, I can already tell this is gonna be my favorite. But then I got like halfway through. I think that I still like two better. After seeing it as a whole, I'm very quick to judgments. <laughs> but I think two is my favorite, but I still, I definitely enjoyed this one at, for what it was. This movie went off the rails, like Back to the Future 3 went off the rails. Completely different. Um, and more sense of fun, but uh, it, this one for sure was a lot. <laughs> So he's taken as a slave, even though he's the savior, and then he meets the obvious love interest, Sheila, who I end up feeling really bad for at the end. Ash Bruce just, he cut, like comes out of his shell in this movie more so than the others, I feel. Like he just makes giant choices, where he did in the first two, but there weren't as many. This was just full of choices. 7,000 baskets of choices <laughs> were made in this movie. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. So as a slave, Ash is pushed into this pit, and in the pit is a very strong woman demon who knows gymnastics, i.e. Tamara at 12 years old. Guys, I used to be able to do front and back handsprings. Now I can't even walk upstairs. And he's in the pit, and this weird priest guy, like, throws him his chainsaw hand, and it just clicks right on, and it's just so, like, it's just really, I don't know, it's just, it's really just like... It's like no big deal you guys, it's just, it's, it's really cool. This is the prop the gym made and it's so cool. Oh, it's not even on. <laughs> There's an on switch. I didn't see that before. <laughs> so Ash shows everyone in the little village town that he is not gonna be messed with and it's followed by this really cool scene where they're making him a fake metal hand and it like crushes something. And he says groovy again. Groovy, groovy. Is there a clip of Jim Carrey saying groovy? I feel like there has to be a clip of him saying that somewhere. Has Jim ever said groovy? Have they ever been seen in the same room at the same time? I'm just... And then Sheila comes to Ash and is like, you're a hero, and he treats her like a flipping... Ugh, it's, he's yucky in this scene. And then she slaps him because he's yucky. And then he kisses her. It's typical. Okay, and then things start getting odd. <laughs> I was also, I was watching this while also tweeting about the, the second presidential debate. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe I missed this. <laughs> so he goes to find the book of the dead and he takes refuge in this cabin. And then there are three mini ashes and they're like attacking him with a fork and then he kills them. But one of them gets inside of his mouth and he swallows them and then he just, <laughs> swallows boiling water. This guy feels no pain. Ash just feels no pain. His head, like, every <laughs> everything he does is just kind of like, oh, that should hurt a mere mortal, but I'm Ash, and I feel nothing. Should be my slogan. I'm Tamra, and I feel nothing. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> the, the swallowed small Ash grows inside of him and then you see like a giant eyeball on his shoulder and then a second head comes out and then they start like hitting themselves and then they split and it's so insane. What? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Where did it come from? Where did that come from? So then Ash chops him up and shoots his face 
um, which would be odd to do to something that looked exactly like you. So then Ash goes into the cemetery and he finds um, the Book of the Dead, but there's three of them. He's like, which will it be? And so the first one like almost pulls him in, it's like a wind tunnel, and the second one like attacks him, but he fights it off. And then the third one is the Book of the, 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 the Book of the, 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 the the Book of the Dead. I have to say though, I feel like those were very minor inconveniences. It was just kind of like, oh, stubbed your toe, whoops, got a splinter. Here's a million dollars in gold. So before taking the Book of the Dead, he has to say these three words that the weird priest guy gave to him to say, but he can't remember them. So that scene was actually pretty funny because he says the first two and then he just kind of gurgles it. It's like, that's good enough, it's fine. Ancient rituals, more like ancient rituals. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? So it doesn't go well. <laughs> then you find out that he awoke the army of the dead. Ba ba ba! So the army of darkness is awakened, and it's the, just a bunch of skeletons. And there's this one scene, just really quick. They're just walking, walking by, by the screen, and it's just some skeletons, like toting along some naked boob girl slaves. And that's the last of you see of them. They're, they're not doing anything for the army of darkness. They're just women slaves, which is. Fine, I just don't understand. That was just so weird. I just feel like it's a waste of time. <laughs> what, they're not helping you in any, you can't have sex, you don't have penises, or hearts, or eyes, to even, you can't even see them, so it's just weird. Is it a status thing? What's going on here? <laughs> tell me, tell me everything, I'm very curious. But then the rest of the movie is just like literally half of the movie is just a giant fight. Like a couple notable things happen, like Sheila turns into a demon and their cool like car thing that they made explodes. Good Ash fights Evil Ash and he's, Evil Ash is trying to get the book and, and, and Good Ash is really good at fighting, super good at fighting and like dodging things, good for you. The evil Ash is disposed of, like the bomb and like the catapult, super neat, they get the book back, all is well, Sheila's not a demon anymore. Just a super, super long fight sequence. Something that I think is kind of funny is that Ash stays because he's like, well, I have to save Sheila, my love interest. And then they're like, here's the potion for you to go home. And he's like, all right, bye Sheila, peace. And he like kisses her and rides off into the sunset to drink the potion. Why did he have to get on a horse? I did enjoy the end of the movie though, where he is back in S-Mart. And then a demon shows up because he was supposed to say the words that he forgot the first time. He's supposed to say those again as he drank the potion. And I guess he forgot them again. He like breaks through with his hand and he takes out a gun and he shoots her down. And, uh, and I assume that's where the TV show comes in. Or maybe also the remake, I don't know. Uh, but then he gets another girlfriend immediately, kisses her and says, hail to the king, baby. I'm like, okay, well, cool your jets a little bit. You still work at S-Mart. And that's the end. <laughs> I wrote way less notes for this episode. I wrote five pages of notes, which is way less. And I mean, I write each note is like this big. So there's not five pages sounds like a lot, but um, I think I didn't write anything during the fight. I was just like, all right, fight. I don't know what to say. This, they're fighting skeletons. Cool, but cool, it's long. I liked the second one the best. It was weird how different Ash was in this. I'm pretty sure I want to be Ash for Halloween. I think Lady Ash would be cool. But anyways, guys, that is Evil Dead 1, 2, and 3. Let me know if you'd be interested in hearing my thoughts. I wouldn't be opposed to maybe watching the remake and the TV show, and maybe putting it on my own personal channel, Tamara Lynn Chambers, at youtube.com. I was thinking I might do something like, oh, I'll do a playthrough of the Back to the Future game that a lot of people said I should do. Um, so maybe things in that kind of vein that wouldn't warrant an episode here, but might, you know, be fun for a few people there. Anyways, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Ike is still, <laughs> he's still living in the suburbs. Cause they, I, I, there's no time. I haven't, there's no time to pick them up, but he'll be back soon. <laughs> and he loves you all. I don't know, he doesn't know you. I have no idea, that was a baseless claim. <laughs> but I do, thanks for watching. See you soon. <laughs>